Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the day's interesting stories. Richard, we're always looking up, so we're going to start today with a remarkable discovery from astronomers. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, NASA has discovered, uh, Erica, an Earth-like habitable planet. It's orbiting a star about 100 light years away here in the Milky Way galaxy. Uh, the planet is in the so-called Goldilocks zone, meaning it is just the right distance away from its star, that it's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's 95% the size of Earth, so very similar. The year, though, a lot quicker. It takes 28 days for this uh, to orbit uh, its star. You know, scientists, Erica, say finding uh, other uh, systems like this with Earth-sized planets really helps scientists discover more about our own solar system. You know, I'll go and check this out, but I'm going to need, you know, this planet's going to have to have uh, an LCBO or something like it. <laughs> I'm going to need, like, TikTok. You know, there's certain things I'm going to, I can't give up. If I'm gonna yeah, go creature comforts here. for Richard Southern, right? Yeah. Okay. Back here on Earth, we tend to be pack rats sometimes, and there's a good reason for that. Yeah, I mean, do you ever, like, you develop an emotional attachment kind of to an object? Like, I'm not going to throw that away. I kind of, you know, sure. I love Lots. the toaster. Yeah. Tons. Yeah. yeah. Dog toys. <laughs> We're not the only ones. <laughs> that have been destroyed. <laughs> Yeah. Both you and Luna have an attachment <laughs> to dog toys. 77% of people in a new survey reported forming emotional connections with items in their home. And because of that, some people have issues throwing things away. 63% felt guilty of throwing some objects out. 20% experienced significant guilt when they declutter. 66% say more than half the items in their home were previously owned from someone else. So it's not just them that are having mm -hmm. issues throwing things away. Uh, scientists say there's nothing, or experts say there's nothing necessarily wrong with this, but we, we do it perhaps as a way to compensate for lack of interpersonal attachments with other people, or they could be as well symptoms of uh, hoarding. Um, <laughs> I have a plant, it's a poinsettia, uh, Erica, from three Christmases ago. Uh, its name is Pointy, I've named it. Uh, it's not dead, so it doesn't look great, but I'm not throwing Pointy away. I have an emotional attachment to it. Pointy, the poinsettia is staying put, yeah. I have Absolutely. lots of that around. Don't... I actually got to declutter because there's lots of things I hold on to for sentimental value. Okay, finally, January is a time for resolutions, and hopefully there are some people out there who are keeping their promise to cut out alcohol for the month. Dry January, right? I'm doing it. I'm okay. doing it again this year. Yep. It's not easy. It's not fun. A it lot of extra is. time on my hands on the weekends, Erica. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, plumbers are actually warning that don't, they're saying, don't throw out a certain type of liquor. Maybe, you know, you're doing dry January, you want to throw some stuff down the drain. Don't throw Baileys down the drain. Plumbers warn the whiskey and cream drink can collect in the U-bend under the sink, and that can cause water from passing through. It's kind of the same warning we get not to put cooking fat or cream down the sink. A dry January, apparently more popular than ever. There's some variations on it, though. There's something called damp January, where people only have like one or two drinks. They don't get completely plastered. And there's a demi January, Erica. That's when you, you drink one week and then don't drink the next week. You take like one weekend on, one weekend off. I guess, yeah, and don't go completely cold turkey. And don't throw away your alcohol. Donate it to Richard Southern. He'll take it. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it if you don't want it. I'll give it a good home. <laughs> okay. Thanks. February. Next, next month, right? Okay. Thanks, yeah. Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Cheers.